you'd ruin your warranty. There's no going back. Hi guys, and welcome back, and welcome to another video where you join me in. I'm in France, I'm in Monaco, that is where I am. Oh my good God, I've come across the best view, well, one of the best views I've ever seen. What a warm welcome it is to France. We've just been in the center of Monaco and we've driven up here and for very, very good reason because it is time to do another driving road. I was here not long ago in the summer with my Lamborghini. <laughs> Basically, I didn't really drive in Monaco. I just took my car into France in the hills and I enjoyed the incredible roads that are here. So let's talk about the cars that we are using today. We obviously have the rear wheel steer Audi R8. We have driven from England and we today are joined by a McLaren 720S which is tuned to roughly 800 brake horsepower, something ridiculous. It has a quick silver exhaust on it and other bits and pieces and looks amazing in this blue that it is in. I want to do a little little bit of a test here. Obviously we're on driving roads and that's the best way to put a car to the test. I'm pretty sure the owner of the McLaren is going to be letting me drive that but first what I want to do is I want to drive the rear wheel steer Audi R8 and put it to the true test and find out just how good this car is because Mr Wallace keeps on telling me that I need to make my Lamborghini Huracan rear wheel drive which is just ridiculous. It's a five minute job you take out the front drive shafts. He's like oh it's so much better so much better. Well today I'm going to see how much his ridiculous idea actually makes sense. It probably won't, but we will find out. So let's jump in. Let's have a lot of fun. We're in Monaco. No, we're not. We're in France, but let's go. And here we go. Dynamic. McLaren's gone. driving the rear wheel steer on the mountain road it is time to jump in this incredible 720s the one which is tuned and aftermarket exhaust and everything else and drive it and get a proper feel paul is going to be my passenger these are quick but this one with this much power everything else i just think this is going to be a total another ball game he's just driven me and i've been petrified when i mean petrified I don't think I've ever been so scared in a car in all my life. But let's have a little walk around it so you guys can have a look just how good this looks. With the blue colour, I think it's absolutely stunning. Paul waving out the window as usual. Um, but with the black wheels, 
I love what he's done. And it's got a mate, it's got loads of carbon fiber, doesn't it? Like everywhere. Yeah. Oh, the window tins are sick as well. Yes, it does have carbon fiber. Saab and people don't like McLarens, but let's just say that this might change your opinion. It might change your opinion quite a lot and it might change mine as well. Um, just look at all this carbon fiber everywhere. 720S, oh yeah. The door is the best bit. Really weird experience in here, isn't it? Yeah. The driving position is a little bit like a uh, go-kart, you know, like yeah. over the front wheels. I feel that as well. Yeah. say anything because I didn't want to take uh, dictate the direction of your video but this is the sort of thing that you would replace with your hurricane you reckon? with the mods yeah, yeah you yeah. need the mods yeah you need because the, mods. the stock 720s is, is a little bit meh and even the owner said he was like honestly after about two and a half thousand miles of it, I was bored of it yeah 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 but then he put the quick silver and then he modded it and even though it sounds mad 720s you don't need any more power it's not that you don't need the power it's the extra characteristics yeah, that you yeah, get yeah. from the car I love this thing now I mean, I loved it before, but this car, this, this exact This exact car. one. Right, so you now join me back in London, and it's just been a crazy sort of week in Monaco, driving that RWS Audi R8, and also that ridiculous 720S. But like I was saying, Mr. Wallace wants me to sort of do this crazy <laughs> modification, which I'm pretty sure, and while I'm fairly certain, I'm not gonna do it, because it will totally ruin this my Lamborghini Hurricane. I've actually just put the uh, put the sort of boot up because I sort of wanted to sort of just check sort of stuff in there. It would be mental to sort of ruin my warranty and also just take the front drive shafts out and all sorts. Because what I want to do is obviously modifications are coming and it is imminent. When I mean imminent, it's like, it's like days away pretty much. It's not part of it, but you can put that down if you want. It's gonna look totally different with you just wait, just wait and see. Obviously I'm gonna be doing things to it, but in terms of engine and doing things that would ruin my warranty, I'm very cautious, because obviously this is a 150, 160,000 pound supercar. If you ruin your warranty and something goes wrong with it, you are screwed and the bill is gonna be big. But yeah, no. His idea? No. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. There is a lot coming up next week. I'm going in so many different countries. I'm running around like a madman, um, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. I might actually go and take that for a spin before I'm off to the next destination. It is absolutely filthy. When you look at it, it is just filthy. So maybe I should take it for clean. That'll be the first thing. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all very soon.